So our second race from Perth is going to be the Perth Gold Cup Chase. So the three miles and Autumn 40 handicap. Add insult to injury to just have a look at those f form figures. Here's our top weight. Dacula for Darren Thompson. Craig Beck was nightly contract. David Robertson's premier lover. Cher Linfoli and Van Rensburg. David Hooley's Her World. Intercity for Craig Beckwith. David Robertson's Lavier Palavariva. Mingan Landing for Daniel French. Pontypool Racing's Tower Amlets. El Villa Mutt for Vinnie Gerard. Pontypool Racing's long-term project. Vinnie Gerard's Pompey Millennium. Royal Wedding for Matt Cooper. Pedrick Home for Johnson's Frontiers, Daniel French's higher calling. I didn't quite get through them all, which was a bit disappointing. Number 17 was Rab and Kral for Pedrick Hogan. They're already into the first, and we've already lost one, which higher calling has gone. Unfortunate there. I think that's a Daniel French horse. Goes at the first of the 19. Started going away pretty quick here. And it's a good old Tower Amlets that leads us over the second. They all clear that. So Tower Amlets leads by three to El Villar Mutt. And insult to injuries about nine wide. They get to the third. They all clear that as well. But it's Tower Amlets that's leading by five. Maybe I should talk like Cockney. Now Tower Amlets is winning this one. He's a little bit ahead of El Villar Mutt and Knightley Contract. And we've got adding total injury getting to this one. It's a wall up. They all get over that. Nobody gets wet. Anyway, Tower Hamlets. That's where I live. You know where Tower Hamlets is in London, isn't it? In fact, ooh, shouldn't so I'm going to swear there. South London, isn't it? So Tower Hamlets leads from Primavera Lover in second. Highly contracts third. Elvila Mutt's fourth. Rab and Kral is fifth. They've already been dragged out. That turn there has taken half the field away. As they get to the fifth, the leaders are still over it. Oh, it's going to be a fun race. And we're just down one. So Tower Hamlet still leads from Primavera Lava. And then we've got Nightly Contract, don't we? And Elvira Mutt and Raven Crow has moved up well. Then I can't see who's that. Lavier Pava Palariva. Yeah, she's there as well. And then Dacula a little bit further back with Pompey Millennium. But Tower Hamlet still leads us. Gets to this big ditch, gets over it well, as does the rest they do, including that loose horse. Well done, boy. Anyway, Tower Hamlet still wins. Leads, not wins. Might win. You never know. Let's wait and see. Lovely jubbly as they go over the seventh. They all clear that as well, didn't they? Yeah, they're all jumping pretty well. Anyway, Tower Hamlet still leads the Perth Gold Cup chase. Quite about five to Primavera Lover and Eilid Contract. They're a length away from Rab and Crow and El Villa Mutt. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, a couple back then. A Dacula. Sounds like Dracula, but it's Dacula. Missed out the R, obviously, when he was spelling it. Lavier Palarivas there, and also Pompey Millennium. Then we've got Royal Wedding. Yeah, we'd like the Royal Wedding. No, we wouldn't. I don't like the Royal Family. Bloody bunch of scroungers. Anyway, Tower Hamlet still leads us from Highly Contract. Highly Contract. Uh, what sort of... Yeah, all right. Primavera Lover and El Villar Mutt. And then Rab and Crow and Dracula. Or Dracula, if you want to call it that. And then Pompey Millennium and Royal Wedding as they go over that big ditch. They're all still in there. Oh, no. Oh, I thought we'd lost one. But no, nah, they're all still up there. We could go all the way to the back, but we can't really see them. But there's a few at the back in the city. Long-term project. Shaolin, I can't see. Or her world. But Tower Hamlet still leading it for us. Lovely. From Primavera Lover as they go over the 10th. Oh, we lost one there. It's Rab and Crowley that's gone. Yeah, I don't want that anyway. Don't know Germans, do we? Sounds a bit German, that. Don't like no German names. Anyway, they go over the 11th. They're all going to clear that and all they do. Right at the back is Shaolin. Thinks he's a Kung Fu master. Anyway, not doing too much Kung Fu now, is he? Anyway, Tower Hamlets from highly Contract, Dracula. They're all within lengths of each other now. Primavera Lava, El Villama. Then we've got Laviera Pavariva. As they all go over that water again. That old Kung Fu one at the back ain't jumping so well, is he? Anyway, Tower Hamlet. It's still leading us from Dracula. Or oh, is that Dracula? Anyway, at second, then Primavera Lovers third. Then we pop a Millennium Nell Villar, Mark Nine, Nightly Contract, and Lavier Pella Riva and Jorzons Frontiers. Yeah, we don't want to hear that froggy stuff either, do we? It's Britain, mate. We want to stay all like Britain for Britain, England, England, you know what I mean? Shaolin still at the back, jumps over it. We've made down two, so they're not doing pretty well. We've still only just got a mile to go, and it's Tower Hamlets from Primavera Lover in second, then Dracula, and then those couple of green ones. Pompe Millennium and El Villar Mutt. I got a Mutt. It's an XL bully. Comes out and beats people up most of the time. Pull your legs off. Anyway, Tower Hamlet's still our leader over this ditch. That's the 14th. 
They've done 14, they've got another 5 to go, but Tower Hamlet's still leading from Primavera, Lover and Dacula, and El Villa, Mutt and Pompey, Millennium, and then Jean Saint Tiers. As they go over the 15th, they all clear that well. A couple of them haven't really been mentioned. Mingan Landing had insult to injuries a little bit further back, but carrying a lot of weight. I don't think he's going to do so well with all that weight on his back. And then there's a few even further back. The one at worst is Shaolin, but poking his head in now. But it's still this Tower Hamlets, isn't it? South London, come on. Down inside the five now. Tower Hamlets from El Villama. Primavera Lovers, they go over the 16th. This one for Grey Clark Parks, leading it really well. So Tower Hamlets, Pompeii Millennium. Who's this Mingan landing up on the wide outside? That's a Daniel French horse. Not French, I don't think. I hope not. Anyway, it'd be called Daniel French. Anyway, it's Pompeii Millennium that finally heads Tower Hamlets inside the final three as they all go over that one. We lost one there long term, Project didn't get over it. But Pompeii Millennium from Mingan Landing, Tower Hamlets is still trying to find more. her world up on the wide outside, but it is this Pompeii Millennium and Mingan Landing as they go over the penultimate. Pompeii Millennium gets away from it better. I think we lost another there, nightly contract's gone, but it's Pompeii Millennium from Mingan Landing, Lavi Periva as they go over the last. And it's Pompeii Millennium inside the final half of Furlong. It's this Pompeii Millennium. I've been in the Millennium Dome, it was rubbish. Anyway, Pompeii Millennium from Mingan Landing, Lavia Palariva, Tower Hamlets is going to be fourth in the end, but a good win there for Vinnie Gerard. Wins the Perth Gold Cup chase, doesn't he? With Pompeii Millennium. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back, mate. You trained that beauty there. So in second one's Lavia Palariva for the Scots boy up north. Mr. Robertson. Mingan Landing for Danny French. Tower Hamlets for old Gris Clubbuck. And El Villarma also for Vinnie Gerard Garper fifth. Well done, geezer.